Hello everyone and welcome to video number five where we are showing you how to use PDF Linker to make your planner, journal, and digital planner creation a lot easier. If you haven't done so yet, go ahead and watch the first four videos because in those videos we built the entire planner. It's already done and it's hyperlinked, it's dated, all in a few clicks and only takes minutes. We're using PDF Linker and Canva. But for those of you who are a little bit more advanced in your digital planner creation, in this video, we will show you how to use PDF Linker to generate Google Calendar links, which means that you can use your digital planner to link directly to Google Calendar. If you ask me, this is the future of digital planners. I actually have a course on how to do this manually. If you don't want to use a piece of software, there's a link in the description if you want to learn more about it. But PDF Linker will do everything for you. It'll generate the, the hyperlinks and it will put them in your PDF. So you don't have to do that manually. Just imagine doing a yearly planner, 365 hyperlinks, copy and pasting. No, that will take days. PDF Linker will do it in like three minutes. I'll stop talking now. Let's go to the tutorial so you can see it by yourself. Buddy, let's generate Google Calendar links and add those calendar links to a planner. So with PDF Linker, you can generate your Google Calendar links quite easily. All you have to do is hit this button, generate Google Calendar links. So this looks a little intimidating, but don't let it be, don't let it intimidate you. It's, it's quite simple. Uh, all you do is put your from date, I'm working on a planner right now that is from January um, to December, obviously, of 2024. So, and your start time. So, let me open up my planner and my daily pages for you, and I'll show you. So, I've already linked a little bit of it. So, let's just go to my daily pages, which I need to remember that my daily pages start on page 67. So, here is my. Uh, schedule so it starts at 6 a.m. and ends at 11 p.m. so I want to put in military time so this pattern corresponds to your pattern of text here and it sh we I have a little button there that tells you the the codes for um, all of your uh, possible layouts. And I also have a PDF that gives you a lot more of them. And if you ever have trouble with them, you can just let me know and I'll let you know what it is. So, and so my pattern should be um, this right here. And this is a capital I, okay? So I know that my pattern should be And that is going to generate the correct thing. Now, my schedule is just uh, hourly time slots, not half hour. So I definitely want to have that uh, clicked. And then I want to strip the leading zeros from the time. Because if I don't, then it'll put 06 a.m., 07 a.m., and we don't want that. So we're going to say strip leading zeros, and then I'm going to say generate CSV. It's going to ask me where I want to save that CSV. So I am going to create a new folder and call it Google Links and choose it and it's done. All of my Google Calendar links are created. So let's go open that file and take a look at the CSV for each day. So. it created those and for some reason it's adding a zero to these so that might not uh, that's strange but it's probably not going to be a problem so let's just take a look at how it does so that's done that's created now let's take a look at my planner remember my daily pages start on 67 so let's go to my last day of my planner, which is December 31st. So 67 to 432. That's what I need to add these links to. Okay, so let's go to batch processing. 
and put in the days 67 to 432. Pretty simple. Let's add our PDF. I want to view that in my little viewer. It's going to open it up. And I want to go to page. If I open this up, it'll let me put. So let's go to page 67. So it takes me to my daily page. And then I can select this area. So I'm going to select this area to add the links to. That way, if you have any other numbers on your page, like these numbers, then it's not going to link that. It's only going to add the links here. So I'm going to use that selected area. And then what I'm going to do is say select batch CSV. Because I'm going to go to my Google folder where I created all of those calendar links. And I'm going to select them all for the whole year. And then I'm going to say process batch. Oh, <laughs> you have to select your CSV up here or your PDF up here. So then I'm going to say process batch. And it is in the background adding all of those Google Calendar links to my 365 pages of my planner. It doesn't take very long, only a couple minutes, sometimes seconds. So it's just thinking in the background. Thinking, thinking, thinking. And if you have this pulled up, you can see it doing its thinking. See, it's adding all of your, this is where it's, it shows the output. I leave this with PDF Linker so when people have problems, they can copy and paste that log file to me and we can uh, track down the problem and fix it. So right now it's up to May 27th, 28th, adding all of those, June. So we're halfway done. I'm going to pause the video and uh, until it's finished because we don't want to just sit here and watch that run. Okay, so got my little box packed up, popped up here that says it is successful. Let's go take a look at our planner and test it. Here is our updated planner, which should have our Google Calendar links. So let's go to January 1st and let's check it out. There we go. Now let's just test a couple of those links. Let's test like the 2 p.m. Make sure it's going to the correct place, not noon. Yeah, doing just fine. Okay, let's go to December and make sure it added them all the way through. So December 31st, 11 p.m. There we go. So we have added all of our Google Calendar links in one fell swoop. Thank you for staying until the end of the video. PDF Linker is truly a unique software that will change the games in printable creation, in digital planner creation. And I believe that everyone who creates digital products, especially dated and hyperlinked digital products, can truly benefit from this software. Check the description below for a link to learn more about it. PDF Linker can be used with any other software that you are already using in your business to design your planners, whether it's Canva, Affinity, PowerPoint, Keynote, it doesn't matter. They work all in conjunction. It can be for Apple users and also for Windows users. Yep, it pretty much does it all. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them below. I am happy to answer your questions. Check out all the links. Check out Camila's channel for even more tutorials. And if you want to see more on how to use PDF Linker, leave me some suggestions below because we are happy to make your life with that software a lot easier. See you on the next one.